pre-built these two. These are pre-built. This is a completed shore. All right, now when we come to our window opening, the first thing we want to do is we want to, one, figure out what method we're going to use. So we've decided we're going to use a built-in-place method. We're going to take our fog manual, and you're going to turn to page 2-30. All right? So you go to 2-30 in your fog manual. It's going to give you a nice picture of a built-in-place window shore. All right, now me as a shoring team leader, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reference that picture, and I'm going to start making my cut list on things that I already know that I need. All right, so I look at this picture, and I start counting my wedge packs. I know I already need four 2x4 two wedge packs, so I'm going to write that on my list, okay? I'm going to see that I need one, at least one, triangle gusset. So I'm going to mark that on the list. I know I need at least one 18-inch cleat. I'm going to put that on my list, and I need two 12-inch cleats for the bottom. I'm going to put that on my list. Then I'm going to have my shoring team pull my measurements, all right? First measurements we are going to pull is for our headers and our soles. We're going to pull the measurement across the window. We're going to take that measurement. That total measurement is 35 and a half, all right? We're going to take off an inch and a half for our wedge packs, bottom or top and bottom. So our measurement on our header and sole is going to be 34 inches, all right? So I'm going to say two header and sole, 34 inches. Put that on my cut list. The next measurement I'm going to pull is for my legs or my uprights, all right? I'm going to pull this measurement right here. You're going to pull this measurement in at least three spots on this window, left, center, and middle, or left, center, and uh, right. Pull that measurement. You're looking right at about, uh, we're going to call that 46 inches. Pull it here. 46 inches here, 46 inches. So we have a pretty square opening. Now, 46 inches, now we're going to have to do a little bit of math that we can do with our tape measure, all right? So you got 46 inches, you need to take off three and a half, three and a half, and an inch and a half for our wedge packs. So that's a total of eight and a half inches we're going to take off, all right? So you go to 46 inches on your tape, hold the end of your tape at 46, come up to eight and a half, bring it across, 37 and a half, all right? So we need two 4x4 four four uprights, 37 and a half. Put that on your cut list. All right? It goes out, your materials come back, <clears throat> and when we start to assemble this shore, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our header and soles in, we're going to pressurize them with our 2x4 uh, wedge packs in opposite corners. It does not matter which corners, just as long as they're opposites. All right? We get those in place, we put our legs or our uprights in place, we lightly pressurize those. Now, we want to make sure that this shore is plumb, level, and square, all right? What I mean by square, you want it square in your window opening. You want to shoot right to the middle of this opening. Make sure it is plumb this way, and it is plumb this way, all right? Once we assure that our, uh, that our uh, shore is plumb, level, and square, we can now fully pressurize our wedges. We're going to take these up, we're going to capture that load path that wants to come down on us, we're going to pressurize them, then we're going to start putting our gusseting in. We're going to put our triangle gusset in, our half triangle gusset, eight penny nails, and our eight and five nail pattern. The eights go in the header, the five goes in the leg. In our cleating, remember two by fours, we're using 16 penny nails, three 16 penny nails in a triangle fashion. Down here on our cleats for our wedges, 12 inch two by fours, three in a triangle, and then two get toenailed down into the sole. All right? Follow me on the pre-built. Any questions about the pre-built? All right, we're going to build one in the next room here in a second. All right? Pre-built window shore. Keep in mind, we can do the exact same thing on a door. Now, you can do this cleating on one side if the other side is not accessible. If we can get to the other side, we're going to mirror image this cleating on the other side, okay, or this gusseting. We're going to put a half gusset over here. We're going to put our cleat over here. Now our shore is complete. If we are not going to use this opening for egress or ingress, we're going to put lateral bracing in place or cross bracing, all right? Two by fours, bottom of this triangle gusset, down to this joint, same thing. That is now going to give it lateral bracing. It's going to take the rack out of it. So if this building wants to lay over, the shore is going to help try to keep this building upright, okay? You're going to take that the uh, second dimension. You're now going to put lateral bracing in there. If you're using it for egress and ingress, it's going to look just like this. So we can go in and out, all right? We put lateral bracing in here. We can't use it for egress or ingress anymore. Follow me? Okay. That's your build-in-place method. If you want to come back here to the door, well now